Hello! Today I want to show you how to secure your Plex Media Server or otherwise Raspberry Pi operating system. To start off with, uh, I am on a Macintosh, so I need to remote desktop into my Plex Media Server. I'm just going to give the connection a name. I'm going to type in the uh, IP address that I have statically set for this. Of course, my username and password. By the way, I statically set my IP address so that um, so that I would be able to connect remotely. Okay, got this. Okay, so you're going to start off by opening the terminal emulator. Just going to let us type in the commands we need. Uh, the first thing I want to do is set up a new account. And the reason I'm setting up an account is, as a general rule, for security purposes, you don't want to be using the root account for um, either the, uh, you know, pen testing that I'm talking about, or you know, if you uh, need to uh, log into your Plex server, different things like that. You don't want to be using the root account because. Um, that account has a lot of power, and uh, if anybody um, is able to access that account uh, while you're using it or, or otherwise, um, you know, that can cause a lot of problems. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. That's the change password. Okay, here's where we're going to add a username. Username. Now, um, I want to give it uh, access to this sudo command that you see here, and the reason why is, uh, you know, I want to be able to do some, you know, installation, some modification from this Plex profile if I need to, without giving it complete root privileges, which, you know, again, opens up some security risks. Okay, let me change the password for this account. Uh, let me change the password to Plex. Uh, let's see. Just gonna set it as something. Okay, and then one last thing, I like to make uh, my terminal, you know, basically uh, run off of Bash. You know, there's different terminal programs you can use, and Bash is just one of them. Okay, so I've created a new account, and let's see. I don't really need to log into my Plex account to do what I'm going to show you, so I'm just going to proceed. Uh, right now what I want to do is I want to install a firewall. I am putting this server in the DMZ, uh, the demilitarized zone of my network, which means it's going outside of uh, my, uh, my firewall basically. and. Uh, traffic that's coming into my external IP address from my, my internet service provider Comcast is going to by default go to uh, the address of uh, my Plex server. So basically what I got to do since I'm putting it in the DMZ it's not going to be protected by a firewall so I got to you know create a firewall on this unit so that uh, I can protect my installation and you know my network any data that I have available on my network. See app get install G U F W. I forget what that stands for, but that's the firewall I'm using. Type yes. Y for yes. Once we get this firewall installed, I'm going to show you how to configure it. Basically, uh, you're going to have to allow the services that you want to use on this firewall. The default setting of this firewall is to deny all traffic. Basically that's called a um, implicit deny because um, unless you specify otherwise um, all traffic on your network is going to be denied. Uh, you need to explicitly specify which traffic is going to come in and out of your network. Otherwise uh, no traffic is going to come in or out at all. 
All right, so the firewall's installed. In order to launch it, this is the easiest way that I know of. Um, I'm just gonna type in GUFW. It's gonna launch the uh, graphical interface of this application. And let's see, so first of all, you gotta unlock it. Oh, okay, so again, sudo. <laughs> should be able to unlock it now turn it on and again um, well actually in this case all incoming traffic is being de denied automatically but all outgoing traffic is allowed uh, I'm gonna leave that as is for right now I'm gonna do basic so um, it'll be a little more simple to set up TCP. I'm going to do both just because I don't know the ports off the top of my head, the, you know, which uh, protocol the ports use anyway. So port 80 is for standard internet access. I'm going to allow in and out. Let me do the in rule first. You notice that it for uh, IPv6, you know, which is the new addressing scheme that's coming down the pipe. Okay, let me do out, allow out, both on port 80, now 443. Okay, so that covers web browsing. Uh, I am using RDP to connect to the server, so I want to allow that as well. Um, that is port 3389. Allow that. One easy thing you can do is go to Wikipedia and verify um, what exactly you need to uh, allow in and out for each protocol. Wikipedia is the easiest way to do that again. Uh, let's see. So I did in before on that. Let me do out now. Yes, I want to do port 22, which allows me to access um, the device with command terminal. It's SSH is the protocol that it's using. I like to actually access from my iPad with Server Auditor, so there's it just gives you a lot of flexibility when you do that. Okay, so I'm doing out right now on SSH, and let me do in in a moment. Okay, so I've set up my web browsing, I've set up my SSH, I've set up my XRDP in my firewall. The next thing I want to do is set it up so uh, my Plex can be accessed, um, have incoming traffic and outgoing. Uh, 32400 um, will um, allow that on the internal network. I believe the Plex Media Server assigns a port dynamically when you were accessing it uh, from external to the network. So um, you have to verify what port you would need to set the rule up for for that. Okay, so in is set up, set up out. Okay, well, let's verify those are both in there. So those are fairly critical to uh, allowing Plex to work properly, well, at least allowing you to access it on your local network. Okay, so the firewall set up and we've set up an account for uh, working on your Flex server. You know, obviously uh, you can you can set up other accounts as well. This tutorial is useful if you're doing other things than uh, making a Flex media server. That actually covers the, the topics that I wanted to cover on this post. Uh, please stay tuned for additional coverage on setting up a Raspberry Pi for a Plex Media Server. 
I'm going to show you how to allow your Plex media server um, to be available on the uh, on the internet uh, from your home even if you don't have a static IP address for uh, your internet service provider and I will also show you how to optimize performance for your Plex media server uh, well, for your Raspberry Pi so your Plex media server works better anyway and I'll also show you how to uh, install the Plex Media Server itself.